Wow. Um, wow, it's so good. Mm, wow. Mm, you're not going to believe this. You got to hang around and watch how to make these keto cookies. Mm, wow. These white chocolate keto cookies are unbelievable. You're going to got to stick around and watch this. Mm, 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 mm. Wow, have I got an awesome, awesome recipe for you. So um, white chocolate uh, cookies are one of my favorites. So we're going to make a white chocolate peppermint cookie today um, and give it like a Christmas spin because it's the holiday season and that's what we do. Um, we're going to make it low carb keto style. So hang out, check it out and uh, see what we're going to do. Um, I think you're going to be surprised. We're going to have some really interesting ingredients into it um, that are really going to help bring the carbs down. And uh, yeah, so um, let's adjust the camera and let's get started. All right, I'm going to start off. This is uh, 16 tablespoons of butter. It's softened room temperature. I'm going to throw it in a bowl. And then I'm going to take, and I'm going to throw in one cup of sweetener in there. With it. One cup. There we go. So this is the uh, Montana uh, uh, erythritol monk fruit um, combination. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to put it in my mixer in here and get it going. And we are going to mix this up. So we'll come back in the next segment. I'll show you what it looks like once it's all mixed up. As soon as I get my mixer going here. All right. All right. So my butter's all whipped together. I'm going to add in three eggs into this as well. I may add a fourth one in depending on how it comes out. All right, and we're going to whisk this together, um, and let's see how this comes out. All right, that came out pretty good. So I'm going to push that aside. I'm going to take this. This is three and a quarter cups of almond flour. Um, I'm using the one blanched ones from, uh, from Costco. That's what I'm using. This is one tablespoon of baking soda in here. I'm actually going to take a fork. I'm going to break it up a little bit. Make sure there's no clumps in here. This is baking soda, not baking powder. All right. I'm going to whisk this in a little bit. And then what I'm going to do for the peppermint, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use two of the Keto Chow New Peppermint Flavor. So we're going to mix that in. One. Wow, does it smell pepperminty? Ah. It smells like a candy cane in here. Gotta love it. Keto Chow. All right, we're going to mix this in good with this. Make sure we get all the clumps broken up. Good. Once we get this pretty well mixed in, we're going to actually take this. We'll put it in with our butter and mix it with our butter. Pretty simple ingredients. Start mixing it around a little bit. Get this mixed in and I'll add some more. Now I got my oven preheated to 350. I'm 
And you can see that's thickening up pretty good. It's beginning to look a lot like cookie dough. Now I will take, I do have a website with uh, Alan's Awesome Keto World, so if you're interested in the recipe, um, I will, I need to type it up because I'm kind of got it written down on a piece of paper. This was a original regular recipe that we're trying to ketify, so, um, so that's the plan. All right, let me take this, mix this up, I'll come back, I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so next I'm going to put in some, uh, it came out actually pretty good. Um, now I'm going to put in some Lily's White Chocolate Chips. This is um, nine ounces, and I'm going to put the whole bag in there because, man. I actually like the, uh, the Chalk Zero ones a lot better, but I don't have any. I didn't order any, and I should have maybe. I don't know. I know the Chalk Zero actually has the... Uh, the bigger bags too. But so I'm gonna mix this in. There's the whole bag. Oop. There's a chip that came out. There we go. My rule is it falls out and I get to eat it. Alright, so after we get this all mixed up, I'm going to put, put it on the cookie sheet. And get it in the oven, we're going to bake it. At 350 for about 10 minutes. I, I will tell you that my oven cooks a little slower than most, so um, I would probably say that it's going to be more like 15 minutes. I don't know why that is. I know when I make my other white chocolate macadamia nut cookies, it takes a little longer than what the recipe calls for. And you would think I'm pretty close to the ocean, so I'm at sea level, so it would actually cook a little faster but it doesn't all right so those are done oh there's the cookie there mm. yeah all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this I'm gonna take a tablespoon of it I'm gonna put it on here and I'm gonna step, put them on here I'll show you what it looks like once I'm all done all right, that's what they look like. I got two pans of these um, cookies, and I didn't count how many they made. Four, one, two, three, four, five, 20 on this one, and there's four, one, two, three, four, five, 20 on that one. So actually, I made 39, I think, or something like that. But that's what they made. I'm going to throw these in the oven. We're going to let them cook for about uh, uh, 10 minutes, probably 10 to 15 minutes at 350, and we'll come back and check them when they're done. Well, look at that mound of cookies. That's a lot of cookies. Woohoo! Go Keto Chow! All right, now for the taste test. They didn't flatten out like I thought they would, so they stayed up pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. They're still a little warm, so they will stiffen up. There's what they look like inside. So, pretty good. Look, they smell great. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Those are really, really good. Nice and soft. They have a little, just a little tiny hit of peppermint in them. Those are really, really good. Wow, these are really, really good. Wow. Mmm. Wow. 
Hey, if you like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Mmm, these are really good. Mm. I got more coming.